Hello, this is Derek Wilson with CDO Advisors. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the what if parameter with two parameters in the same report to give you a little bit more functionality to build out your what if analysis. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. All right, so to get started with the what if analysis, uh, I've got a sample data set here. It's just got some order dates. I've got my region, the region has a code, uh, some sales rep information, what the actual item was that was sold, the number of units, cost, and then the total. So pretty standard uh, information. So if I flip over to you know, a Power BI report now, uh, for this example, I need the region, the total. So I'm gonna go ahead and format the total as a dollar amount. I'll go ahead and pull out the units and change my total to just two decimal places. And then let's make that a little, a little larger to be able to see. Okay, so now what I wanted to do is go to the modeling tab Okay, so once I've got my, my table built, I'm gonna click off of that, go to the modeling tab and click new parameter. And what I wanna do is have a sales increase percentage. So I'm just gonna call this sales increase and I want it to be a decimal. The minimum is going to be zero. The maximum is going to be point one and I want to increment it in 0 0.01 and the default is going to be zero. So as you can see, Power BI is not letting me do that. So whenever you're using decimals, you need to make sure you have a zero before the decimal point and that's how you get around that. So now you can see I've got a sales increase that's giving me increases all the way from zero to 10. Uh, I want to make that a little easier to use. I'm going to click on that, make it a percentage. And now it's formatted as a percent. So my users now can see 1%, 2%. So now I've got my what if for the percentage increase. That's the first, that's the first part I need. Okay, so now on my sheet, I'm just gonna rename this to be sales. And I need to add a new measure. And in that measure, I already have it, but I'm creating a, a new measure called sales impact that takes the sales increase value, which is this parameter here, times the sum of the sales units. So let me add that into the Power BI. And if I add sales impact into here, you can see I'm at 0%, my sales impact is zero. If I make it 1%, right? I'll, so 1% 1 of 1,199 is 11.9. I can't obviously sell parts of units, so I'm gonna change my sales impact and format that as a whole number, so it'll automatically round for me can save that, All right? And I recommend when you're doing things in Power BI, always do one thing when it's working, save it. Uh, I've had these crash on me quite a bit. So just a good practice to not lose what you've, what you've got working, right? As you can see, if I go all the way out to 10%, now I've got a 10% increase in my sales. So that's my first value done. Okay, now for the next parameter, I wanna use region and to do that, go to the modeling tab, I want another parameter. And on this one, I am going to call it region. It is gonna be a whole number. And in the data, the minimum is gonna be zero, meaning I don't want it to, to do anything. The maximum in my case is three, and I wanna increment it in one, and I want it to default to zero. So that's going to give me a region. So I'm just going to format that, slide it over here. 
And the reason uh, what if parameters have to use numbers. So if we look at the data, you can see my central region is region one, east is region two, and west is region three. So I'm using the region here as my proxy for updating the information about regions and doing the sales increase at the same time. Okay, now to do this, what I want to do is be able to increase the sales in only one of the three regions. So this could be for budgeting and forecasting, what if analysis, what if my sales increase in the East region by a certain percentage, you know, how would that look? What's the impact of that? So to do that, again, and now I need another new measure. I'm going to paste in the DAX here, but I have a forecast impact by region, and I'm going to use the sum X formula. And then I want to filter it to the region ID equaling the region value, which is the one, two, or three from this parameter. And then I'm going to take my sales units plus the sales impact to show what the additional impact would be on that particular region. So click off of there. Now I've got my forecast impact. I can pull it over and you can see right now I have my parameter is zero. If I change it to a one, then now it's taking my units with the 60 extra sales that I'm going to have and adding it together again, just to clean it up. I'm going to take my forecast impact, change that to a whole number. But now I've got two parameters working that let me easily change my numbers. What if I had a 10% sales increase in the East region? What's that do? So there's a lot of possibilities with what if analysis to give your end users more control and flexibility over not only the data, but the analytics and what they could potentially do with that. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Again, my name is Derek Wilson. Please subscribe and like our channel. If you want to see more content, if there's other features that you'd like to see, please leave those in the comments as well.